We have the new Tractor DJ2 app to show you here in the Native Instruments suite in a private room in the private Native Instruments suite. Uh, and I'm with Stefan, who's uh, had a big hand in what we're about to see. Hello, Stefan. Hi, Phil. We're at NAMM 2019. Shall we take a little look? So tell us. Okay, so what we have to show <clears throat> is a new version of Tractor DJ, Tractor DJ2, that is not only available on iPad this time, but also coming to desktop. But maybe we can have a look at the iPad version first and see what's new here. So we took the best elements of Tractor DJ1. So we still have these parallel touchable waveforms, right? That, that people know from the original app. But on, in the main key view, we added basically a digital representation of a DJ controller next to it. So people have all their transport and mixer controls right at their fingertips. This makes the, the app more accessible and easy to use. People have been asking for manual mixing in Tractor DJ, so we added tempo controls, pitch band, and, all, and jog, even jog wheels uh, to the app in order to allow that. So people can basically learn how to DJ with hardware from, right from within the app. You want to see it like it working? Like have, a, have one deck playing in the left deck, press play on the other deck so it waits a little bit and syncs everything according to the bar. So that's pretty easy. We also, for the existing Tractor DJ1 users, we added this iconic big waveform view, which you can expand. So you have the choice, basically, which layout you like. Yeah, this is basically it. Like on the browser side of things, we added uh, a so-called preparation queue. So you can basically build a playlist on the fly. And if you say, I want to play a track from here, it disappears. So it's a temporary queue. You can prepare your set and then basically play from it. We also have recommendations. So based on what's currently playing, the app still recommends you the best matching tracks. And most importantly, we added streaming integration with SoundCloud Go Plus. So what you see here is an early version of that, basically pulling the likes of your SoundCloud profile and showing them in the app and make them have them ready to be played with a new DJ set as well. Okay, so we've seen this on the iPad. So let's talk about the iPad version for a second before yep, we move on. Sure. So the original Tractor DJ was awesome, but it was a bit out there, a bit different. It took people a while to get it. And those okay. who did get it really got it. I love it. I've spent whole nights DJing yeah. on it. Uh, and this has kind of like got the best of both. So what's the thinking behind it, mm. especially knowing that there's a big professional version of yeah. Tractor out there as well? I mean, we know that the professional version is fully featured, but it's addressing... Uh, uh, like it's more for a different target audience, so right? This, so what's the target audience here? Just pure beginners, pure... Yeah, like people that love, like, it's, a, it's basically about the essentials of DJing, like all the essential things you need and everything which is just unnecessary or like only some people might use, we'd left out intentionally here. So it must have been quite fun for the designers to start with a yeah. blank page and just say... Really reduce it to the essentials and make that as easy to use as possible. What hardware does it work with? Like it's fully compatible with the latest Tractor Control S2, so S2 Mark III, so which has an iOS port in the back. So now it so, makes sense so what that iOS port that's, was for. That's the answer, exactly. And will be compatible with Tractor Control Z1 as well. And we are going to add more hardware support in the future. OK, so that's cool. Shall we have a little look and see what it looks like on a laptop as well? Absolutely. So this is the other big thing, of course, that now it's across all platforms. So to be clear, Android as well, right? And P and, and Windows Android, PC. Android not yet. So Windows, Windows, Mac OS, and iPad. But Android coming, in possibly the, in the future. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the key view on desktop, and as you can see, it, it's very similar, but we have a little bit more real estate here. So you can see parts of the browser, and you have the hot cues, which are like hidden here on a panel, which you can toggle between jog wheel and hot cues, everything is right available on, in, the, in one view here. Um, I mean, you can also expand the browser. Uh, so you also have the SoundCloud stuff in here, similar to iPad. All is a little bit bigger, like... 
and it seems to have and it has one more thing which exactly would a classic tractor view it's a classic tractor view exactly for those users who are familiar with tractor pro layout and don't need parallel waveforms we added that as well and interestingly on the same day that we've seen tractor pro coming three, with parallel waveforms. getting parallel waveforms <laughs> so, exactly so here yep. we go people we want to give people the choice basically like is it this left right thing or the parallel waveform thing so and what about the libraries between these different versions on different platforms is there integration what's how does that work there is no synchronization yet. No? Like, I mean, if you're using SoundCloud and you're, like, you have your playlist synced on all devices, of course, but like, as soon as you add some hot cues or you change the beat grid, that's not synchronized. So it's yet. local music, local libraries. You say yet, so there's obviously some kind of roadmap for, there is, for there is a roadmap. synchronizing this in the future. Absolutely. So anything else about the new version of Tractor DJ2 that we haven't covered? Or anything else about how they work across different platforms? Is the Windows version exactly the same to the two that we've seen here? Windows is exactly the same what, uh, as what you saw here on this uh, uh, MacBook. I mean, it's worth mentioning this has been re-engineered from the ground up. So this is just the beginning of a new era for tractor software. It's the first product we are deriving from this new technology and it has been developed cross-platform. So what you see here is identically the same build, which... And why is that important, do you think? Why do you think it's important to have the same thing across? It's, it's important to allow us to extend to more platforms in the future. Like you mentioned Android being one of them but also bring this to potentially to standalone products, which also need software running. So what we're seeing here is really the birth, the very early birth of a completely new generation, a completely new uh, age really for tractor software. Absolutely, that's why it, also, it took us a while to get there. It was a huge investment, but it, we believe it's gonna pay off and it's building the foundation for the future of Tractor from a software perspective. And also what you saw here, like integrating a streaming service, that's, you could ask, like, why don't you do this in Tractor Pro? Because the technical depth we are facing there just doesn't allow us to do it. But here, the concept is to basically to add more sources in the future, like whatever streaming services we, we want to integrate in the future, it's easy to plug in because okay. the technology is new. So people will say, when can I get it? And how much is it going to cost me? OK, so the software will be available in spring this year. Uh, it's going to be bundled with the Tractor Control S2 Mark III, so it's in the box, both the iPad version and uh, desktop version. Existing S2 Mark III customers will get it for free as well. And desktop will be available for download on nativeinstruments.com for 49 euros slash dollars, and the iPad version will be available in the App Store for 999 euros, 899 dollars. Okay, so you've seen it here first, Tractor DJ2 with Digital DJ Tips at NAM. Stefan, thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. Like, follow, share. We'll see you again soon.